find it funny how you can have so many movies and games and yet have nothing to watch or play. Nothing. Encardium <clears throat> Leviosa. Uh, okay. Oh! Oh! Son of a banshee! Oh, what the hell? Oh. I suppose it's something I s What worth is it reviewing this? Oh my god. Excuse me, Spark. <laughs> Dear Mr. Wally, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. <laughs> oh my god! Wait. Wait. I'm not even a wizard. So why. Oh, there's more. Before we fully accept you into the school, we would like to issue you a test. Okay. You must play and review the first Harry Potter game on the PlayStation. Okay. Why would a school full of great wizards and witches want me, of all people, to play a game? Because fuck you. Harry Potter, by God, who hasn't heard of this fantastic movie series? A world filled with magic and wonders. It's no wonder it was a success. Thanks to the creative mind of J.K. Rowling, these charming books and movies have captivated and inspired a whole generation of people from writers to filmmakers. And along with all that, the game company EA decided they wanted a piece of this delicious cake and got the rights to make many, and I do mean many, games for the series. And one of them was this little gem on the PlayStation 1 based off the very first movie. So it's gotta be good, right? 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 I mean, it's strange. I mean, I've had this game in my collection for, surprisingly, a very long time. I remember having so much fun with this, but... I also remember there were a few things in this game that were a bit off. Oh well, anyway, let's get right to it and check it out. Come on. So we will begin with a storybook opening with a narrator telling us how Harry got sent to his aunt and uncles and everything else we already know about the story. I will say the art is very similar to some of the book covers and it's a real nice touch. Right, on to the gameplay. And I will say it's good to see some old classic graphic- OH MY GOD! Oh dear, it's one of these old PlayStation graphics, and I'm not gonna lie as to say that everyone's faces look... Well... Not very good. Oh, and thanks for the line drop there, Dumbledore. Oh, now you're just gonna leave me. After saying that. Great. I will say the controls are very good, but a little stiff. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter! Ah yes, and by the looks of that nose, you must be a dead man walking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, I went there, yeah, yeah, and you know what? I'm not sorry. <laughs> well, come on then, come at me, bro. <laughs> Ow, my ear! So we finally meet up with Ron, and he tells us that Draco has kidnapped Hedwig, so we go off to find him. So after Draco says a few things and being an all-around dick, we just ignore him. Go home to your mother, Potter. 
Oh, sorry. You don't have one, do you? Okay. First off, rude. Secondly, fuck you. So after learning how to play the game and listening to a guy trying to be John Cleese, you rescue Hedwig and go to your first lesson. And this is where the controls really bite you in the arse. Due to the broomsticks course having some sharp turns in it, it's not an easy feat to get through all of the hoops. But enough of all that, we finally meet Hermione, where Ron proceeds to mock her. She's a real know-it-all, and a teacher's pet. No, I am not! <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, that, but that, that was brilliant. That was so brilliant. Oh god. I think I need to use that more in my videos, because the way the voice actress says it, it just sounds so bloody forced. <laughs> I love it. There's not that much to say about this game. I mean, there are some really interesting puzzles to solve, hidden rooms to find secrets, and finding the flavour beans can be really challenging some bits. There are also little mini-games, and after completing them you get a new spell to use. The graphics, as I've said before, for its time were okay, but nothing to write home about. Except that! It's Chamber Party Potter! I've got your parcel, Potter! Want it back, do we? Oh god, fuck this guy. Seriously, I hated this guy. I mean, yes, his race was easy, but god damn that voice! Potter cheat! Not fair! Peas wasn't ready! We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus, just for you, Potter. Here, Peeve doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back! I can easily see him making it in the top ten annoying characters in video games. Hmm... There's an idea... So to summarise, the first Harry Potter video game was a fun one, with interesting puzzles and secrets to explore. I will say the graphics for its time were okay-ish, but it sadly hasn't aged well and that's due to the PlayStation's hardware limitations at the time. And it also has its fair share of problems too, but then what game doesn't? So you can forgive it for that. I highly recommend this to any Harry Potter fan, or even just the casual gamers to play, and give it a try for yourself, and to relive the wonders and magical world of Harry Potter. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my review of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PlayStation. A not bad first attempt at a Harry Potter game, but believe me, the later games get way, way better in time. Alright. That's a nice little review. Ah, I can finally go and attend to my... Oh! Dear Mr. Wally, we are very impressed by your performance and ability to review the game. However, I regret to inform you that you won't be able to join our school due to the fact that you are indeed actually a muggle and a complete egotistical prat! Love always McGonagall. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, then like, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my last review of Ocarina of Time with Sinister Pixel. Wally Reviews is sponsored by ZaraWrites.com. For original stories and content, check it out for yourselves. Also, big congratulations to Sakurakobob for reaching 2,000 subscribers. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time.